Hello, this is Mac from Tar Heel Lance. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, this video is about moving your ant colonies with heat. Uh, this is the equipment you need to do this. You need a heater of some sort. It does not have to be the one shown. Then you need your ant colonies and a test new test tube and some painter's tape. Preferably, you want to use something that does not, it's not real tacky once you remove it, um, and it's easy to remove and peel off the glass. And after connecting them together using the tape, this is your basic setup when you're starting this project off. Um, what I do is I start off using towels in between the heating source and the uh, vials or, or test tubes. Um, this is to ensure that you're not heating too quickly. So I start off with a thicker towel, um, and that is the one I'm holding now. Um, I know that I'm going to have to move on to the thinner one, that's why I already have it out there. But get you a big towel, double it over, you know, do, be as careful as you want to be. Um, these are your ants. You spend a lot of time and effort into getting them. Uh, into a healthy colony and I'm sure you want to keep it that way so this is warning this is definitely something that can kill your ants um, but at the same time it is by far for me the easiest way to move them and the safest way if done properly and that's what I'm trying to show uh, through this video uh, how to properly do this so what you see here is you lay the towel over the heater and then you adjust the ants so the edge is lined up exactly with where the ants are so they have the rest of that test tube that they're in and an entire clean test tube that will not be on the heating pad at all and you can see I'm just pushing it up there and getting it lined up just perfectly and this is how you start off this exercise and then from here it is more or less a waiting game uh, it does take some time um, but you don't have to spend a whole lot of time actually you know doing this because you can do other things watch TV do your homework clean the kitchen um, do your laundry um, you do need to be uh, aware of what's going on with the ants and check on them every few minutes. What we're seeing here is the ants are you they don't like the light so now they're going to go further into their test tubes. The heat is not bothering them and you can see right along the edge of this one this one is not fully touching the towel right where the ants are right now on this particular test tube um, and that's something that you're going to have to pay attention to as well if you ever do more than one you may have one that's directly touching um, the, an area where it's very hot and then another one right next to it where it's getting absolutely no heat at all. We move the light um, out in front of them so they cannot get away from it. Fairly quickly you'll see uh, some increased activity um, whenever you, would, you do some change of some sort whether it be temperature, light, um, or whatever you're going to see um, pretty much the workers or the queen will go to check things out make sure everything's okay um, and that's what you see here uh, ants are um, starting to explore different areas you see one queen she's already moved up under the clear lay and that is something else that is very helpful all this is is clear uh, red paper uh, it is a little difficult to find in certain places. I am in a large city and there's only two places that I know of I can get it. Um, and neither one of them are very reliable as to always having it. Um, so, there are some places online you can get it. www.tarheelamps.com will also be selling it in the near future. Um, extremely helpful for ant keeping. Um, and it does not block out all light. It makes it very dark for the ants and they like that. 
Um, so that's why you see the ants moving up under there and it's a helpful tool in this exercise. Here's a great picture of molded test tubes. You can see the discolor areas uh, that I'm pointing to there, especially up and some of the, th the higher up ones, uh, the fourth one from the bottom and the fifth one. They're definitely mold, uh, some darker mold growing right there. Um, so that's why we're moving the ants. Um, and now we're adjusting them. We have our heat pad line. You just constantly be, want to be aware of where your heating pad is. And you want to make sure that they're always just barely like an inch um, within that line. Uh, and then the towel here is the edge of the heating pad. So you want to give them just a little bit of space that they have to actually go. Um, this is for their safety. Uh, eventually, ants are pretty smart. I think we already know that. And then during this, you'll find that after you do, do this a couple of times, the whole group of them will end up moving rather quickly. And you don't have to continuously do this inch by inch by inch for each colony. Some colonies will be different than others, no doubt. So, you can see it's starting to work, and this is the goal of it, as we slowly get them moved into their new test tubes. Um, you may be sitting there thinking, huh, they're going to get to the tape, and that's going to block out the heat. That's not true at all. The painter's tape is very thin. You only use one roll of it to wrap around and connect your test tubes. You can also use test tube connectors if you have one. Um, still, the ants will not stay in that typically. They may go there initially, but uh, the heating pad is usually enough for them to um, go ahead and move into the new test tube. What you're seeing here, pay particularly close attention to this situation, is when the light is actually causing the condensation here. It is causing the tops of the glass to be much warmer than the rest of the glass. And condensation is building up right at that spot where the light is. The heat is also, of course, heating the bottom part. But now the top is getting more hot. The condensation is rising to the top of the glass. This can cause problems. Uh, you don't want it to be too much, and then the water will pool down to the bottom and drown your eggs or your ants. So um, you just want to be be cautious of this. Um, condensation is something that uh, can make this a little bit difficult at times. So the room temperature you want to do this at certainly doesn't, you don't want it very cold um, because a more severe change in temperature will mean more condensation. Um, so, um, and the ants start to get the hint uh, when condensation builds up. That's another cue for them that they need to move. So here you see they moved a little bit further along. Um, we've got two that are outside of the area of heat. The closer two colonies towards uh, down below the bottom of the screen are a little bit more stubborn. These two, as I've found out, were not touching directly on the heat uh, heating pad, so it took th took a little bit longer. The light, the heat, the condensation is actually coming from again from the light. Um, I had some other test tubes with colonies in them off. Uh, you can't see on the video, but just with the light being directed on them with no heating pad, they also were getting condensation. Uh, so light can cause a considerable amount of heat. You'll be surprised. Um, so I think at this point what you want to do is use the clear light to your advantage. Make it as dark and as close to them as you possibly can. And they'll move quicker. Um, the darkness is just a lure. It's a, it's like a bait. Um, again, <coughs> you can. Uh, this is me just directing to the spot where it's just risen off of the um, towel there, and it's not getting as much heat. So, starting to get a little bit of progress from the second one there. So we now have 
got one who's ready to be switched out into their new test tube. They have completely moved. So this is the process. You take your um, X-Acto knife or a regular knife of some sort. Uh, you don't have to use a knife, but it's a quick method to take a, take the knife or the X-Acto blade and put a slit down the middle of the tape. Um, All you want to do is make a small slit right down the middle where the test tubes connect. And it doesn't disturb because you don't have to pick the tube up. And then you do it really quickly. And then you pick it up and you twist because that painter's tape will just pull right apart at this point. It'll start tearing on its own. Gently twist. You don't want to shake it because then the ants can start running towards well, where they used to have a home. And then if you have time, go ahead and peel that tape off. If you don't, you can go ahead and plug out the cotton and wait. But in this case, the ants were calmer. And voila, there's your first one. Uh, I always remove my labels. Um, if you ever get labels, get the ones that um, are not permanent. That way you can peel them off and put them on your new test tubes. We're finally making some product progress now with um, the first and second one down there condensation is continuing to build um, but they're starting to move um, just really have to keep an eye on the condensation I could see from eye level like getting down close that it was not in danger of uh, coming down to the bottom so uh, I just let it continue um, and we've got another colony that's ready to move now you just keep adjusting So we keep moving along. Um, what I why you see more test tubes now? I've got more ends to move, so I go ahead and add them in as I uh, free up some spots. And um, not everybody's going to have this many, obviously, but uh, some people do collect queen ants in their colonies and have quite a few uh, just from talking to everybody. Um, you just continue to work through it. It does not take as long as, as you may think. Um, this this all happened about 50 of these uh, within a day. So, Thanks everybody for watching. Um, I just want to say this method isn't for everybody but for those of you who want to give it a shot hopefully this helps you and see you later.